Let's be real, I feel pretty cheap. Like, does the production quality go down? These are actually pretty nice. I definitely have mixed feelings about them. They actually have a ton of stretch to them. So like, these are definitely gonna be see-through. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It has not only been a while since I've filmed a video because I just finished with finals, but it's been a long time since I filmed one of my brutally honest Gymshark reviews. Like literally since like the Geo Seamless in the fall, I have not filmed a brutally honest Gymshark review. So that's what we're doing today. And no, we're not trying out the camo. We're not trying out any of their super popular stuff. I'm trying out some of their kind of underhyped collections, collections that might seem like they could be good, but I feel like I haven't seen their athletes really promoting these a whole lot. I have some of the training collection. I have these illumination seamless leggings, which look kind of interesting. I have the training leggings, which I think about the training leggings is Gymshark has gotten a lot of external people to promote the training leggings, like not actual Gymshark athletes, but then they're Gymshark athletes themselves don't wear the training leggings so like Whitney Simmons I've not once seen her in the training leggings so that's kind of interesting so I'll be interested to see how they are they're also $30 which is a whole nother question of mine how they're able to do that and lastly these studio leggings which I've always thought were pretty cute but I feel like I've heard some mixed things about these so we're gonna get down to it and see if any of these are worth it before we continue on, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe for more honest reviews, kind of what I do on this channel. And although I've been slow on the Gymshark reviews, they're honestly so fun to do. So I'm gonna do some more in the future, including their new like kind of like adapt seamless or animal seamless, whatever they're called. I'm gonna be doing a review on that soon. So please subscribe and thumbs up. So first thing, I have the training leggings in the training 7-8s leggings. And I'm actually gonna measure the inseam for you guys because I feel like I see people wearing these 7 8 leggings and they look like capris. And I don't know how long the actual like full length leggings are. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna see. I am pretty tall, measurements in the description below. So we'll see if they're full length on me. But these have gotten quite a bit of hype because they are $30, which normal Gymshark leggings are usually 50 to $60. So we're gonna see if these are really worth it. It kind of makes me question why these are cheaper. Like I don't know how Gymshark just decides that some of their leggings are gonna be 60 and some are gonna be 30. Like, does the production quality go down? And if the production quality doesn't go down, then are there other leggings overpriced? Like, let me know what you guys think in the comments below because I'm a little confused on this. But my first impressions are that they're actually super, super soft. I have the Whitney Simmons leggings here because I know a lot of you guys have been comparing these fabrics and they do actually feel pretty similar. I have washed my Whitney Simmons leggings a few times. So I think they've lost a little bit of their brushness. So the training leggings actually feel a little bit softer than the Whitney ones. Okay, the lighter blue is the training leggings and the darker, more bright blue is the Whitney Simmons leggings. So you can see they're both very thin fabrics and slightly brushed and they're both actually very, very soft. You might have risk for some pilling or some lint collection in these, just kind of the nature of a brushed fabric. So these are meant to be a high rise legging. They do have a little press on logo right here. I don't love these kinds of logos because they tend to peel off. They do have a seam at the top of the waistband, but it doesn't look horrible. Like we'll see if it cuts in. They are seamless in the front, which I personally always love something that's seamless in the front. That reminds me of the Whitney Simmons leggings. Again, also my favorite Napoja Rhythm leggings. So no camel toe here. They have a slightly extended gusset crotch. They have another Gymshark logo in the back here. Again, the press-on logo and the seams kind of curve around the booty. So I will be interested to see how these are. So far, they actually feel okay. And the green ones I have in these are the 7 8 length. The 7 8 leggings are a 22 inch inseam, which I feel like is a normal length or a cropped legging, not a 7 8 A normal 7 8 in like a Lululemon is actually 25 inches, so which now makes sense because this is the full length legging and they are only about 25, 26 inches, which is a normal length for a 7 8 legging. So I don't know how they got these measurements, but. All right, so here are the training leggings. First of all, these are the full length training leggings and they're like literally shorter than some 7 8 leggings on me. So, I mean, that's if you care about them being full length or not, but I do. I definitely have mixed feelings about them. There's some things I like and there's some things I don't. So I did feel like they were a little bit tight to get on my thighs and I don't feel like the waistband is offering me much compression at all. And I feel like this is definitely gonna slide down. Um, I'm just like already walking around my apartment having to kind of pull these up to where I want them. The band at the top of the waist isn't cutting into me at all though. So that's not an issue. And I would definitely say they are high rise. They do go up right to my belly button. No camel because there's no front seam. So I definitely appreciate that. They definitely do feel like the Whitney Simmons leggings. So if you are in love with the Whitney Simmons fabric, I definitely feel like these are similar, 
but I personally felt like the Whitney Simmons leggings, the waistband was a little more flattering. They actually stayed up really well on me because I had like a pretty tight band at the top. This one, I'm just not feeling like it's doing the same. Fabric is very thin. I would say light to medium compression. Waistband, light compression. The back is actually not bad on the booty. I don't feel like I could pull these up my butt very much, but I would say a solid medium, maybe medium to high on the booty scale. They do have the curved seams that are going over my butt, so it's not anything too bad going on here. I wouldn't expect these to have a lot of cellulite coverage because they are very light and not compressive. They're super, super thin, like very, very thin leggings. Good for summer, I guess. These are true to size. I would definitely stick with your normal size. I'm wearing a size small. That's basically what I always get. And besides the fact that the legs are a teeny bit tight and the waistband is a little bit loose, I think sizing down, I would have had an issue with getting them on my legs and potentially with sheerness. I'm not sure how these are gonna be with the squat test. Also, our little kitten is meowing across that door and Peach is checking them out. And I don't think they're gonna be totally sweat proof. So for $30, I think they're okay. The falling down is bothering me a little bit. I personally think that if you're gonna go for a legging like this with no front seam, kind of like buttery soft, I'd go for the Napoleon Rhythm leggings instead because they still are cheaper. These aren't bad. Like I wouldn't say I don't recommend them, but they're just okay for me still. Okay, so these are the 7 8 length, and these are a crop legging. They're also like really cutting into my calves, so definitely not a fan. But the fact that they say these are 7 8 and they have a capri as an option, these are definitely not a 7 8 length. So I don't know how they got their inseam measurements, but I feel like they're off. Next we have these studio leggings, and these are more of a regular Gymshark price. They are $50. These are seamless leggings. They're not a brush material. They're more of a thick knit material. Kind of like the camo, but not quite as much. Maybe like in between the camo and the ombre seamless. They do have a sewn on ribbed waistband. And the whole legging is kind of like a washed look. As you can see, the seams are a little bit darker than the leggings. And when you stretch the leggings, they get a bit of a darker look. Here is the waistband. As you can see, it's very ribbed. And they do have one of those little seams that separates the booty in the back, which is always nice with the seamless leggings so you don't get too much unibutt. Something that's cool about these is they do have like kind of like a floral under booty contour detail, which is super subtle and I can, I really like that. And these are a full seamless legging, no seam in the front or back, and they do have a gusset crotch. So we will see how these are. Okay, so I heard some negative reviews of these and in terms of like Gymshark seamless leggings, these are actually pretty nice. I like that they have the logo like sewn into the fabric, kind of in a different like shade. I feel like they're pretty thick. They have a solid medium compression. The waistband also has a medium compression. These feel like they're gonna stay up a little better than the last ones and they have no seam at the top of the waistband or anything. There's a tiny bit of gathering here but no actual camel. Um, I was able to pull them up my butt a little bit so they're actually pretty decent on the booty scale. I feel like I might have lost some booty mass because I have not done hip thrusts really in like a month since we're in quarantine but I think I'd give them a solid medium to high on the booty scale. Maybe just a medium. The seams do go above the butt and there is a very slight booty contour and they have a little line between the booty, so she's not upset. These are a little bit thicker, so they'll probably have more cellulite coverage than the training leggings. I'm not sure how I feel about the bottom of these. They do have like a little ribbed detail and they're kind of like, I don't know, they have this little angled cuff thing. It's just okay for me, I could do without it, but I guess it adds like a little bit of a touch. And they are more of a 7 8 length on me as well. Probably not entirely sweat proof either, but I would probably expect them to be squat proof. They're pretty thick. And when I squatted in the mirror, it looked okay. This fabric really shouldn't collect any lint or pill a lot. So it should be pretty good for performance. I also think that these are true to size. I'm wearing size small. And if it's just like any other Gymshark size small. So yeah, I don't mind these. I think they're actually pretty cute. Next we have the Pippa Training Joggers, which I thought these looked super cute. They have like a cute little jogger set with like a little top and the joggers themselves. These are also $30, so super affordable. Already I'm noticing that the fabric is super, super thin. It's also very soft, but I could see this kind of fabric like snagging and pilling very easily. So it just doesn't seem like the most durable fabric. It's also just like super, super thin. Like you can see my hand through all of this and um, I can kind of see the sunlight through. So like these are definitely gonna be see-through. 
Hello, you can see me. Hi, yeah, these are see-through. But anyways, I guess we'll squat test these even though I don't normally squat test joggers, but you do have a drawstring elastic waistband, two front pockets, the little lines in the back do kind of taper into a V, kind of similar to the Balance Athletica joggers. And then there's no real details all the way to the bottom. You have a little ankle cuff. Okay, so here are the joggers. I definitely would say true to size on these. I got a size small and they definitely are a relaxed fit. Like I tightened up the waistband and there's still like some room as you can see. So definitely true to size, maybe even size down if you like a tighter jogger. These definitely are super, super thin. Like I like don't get these if you're expecting to keep warm with them or anything, but I mean, they're a nice lightweight jogger, I guess. I just don't feel like this is a durable jogger fabric. If you've ever had Buff Bunny or Alpha Lee joggers, these are nowhere near the thickness. Like they're literally paper thin. That being said, I would expect them to be pretty see-through in the back. So not looking forward to that. They do have some nice curved seams on the booty though. So that's pretty flattering. They're also above the butt. They're also basically a full length on me. They go just about to my ankles, just like most joggers do. So that's pretty good. And like they're comfy, not gonna lie. I just usually prefer my joggers to be a little more, I don't know, durable. I just, feel like these are, they, they, they feel cheap. Let's be real, they feel pretty cheap. I just don't think they're my favorite joggers that Gymshark's made. I actually haven't tried a lot of Gymshark joggers, but. And we have the Illumination Seamless Leggings, which are $60. So these to me, they don't really feel like a performance legging. They kind of have that towel-like feeling like the, what are they called? What are they called? What are they called? Like the power down leggings that i would never really loved. They do have a thicker seamless waistband. Oh, that's kind of cool. The little like things come apart when you squeeze them, pull them. Here's a close-up of the fabric. It's not very soft, so I'll be interested to see. I feel like these will be kind of itchy, but yeah, you can kind of see they're not brushed or anything. They're not shiny performance, but they do have a decent amount of stretch. They do have the logo actually sewn into the fabric. So I love to see that. I love when they put in a little more effort into the logos. They do have a standard gusset crotch here. And yeah, they're basically just plain all the way down. And then they have this Gymshark logo at the bottom, which is also sewn in. So love to see it. Okay, so I'm still not sure I'm in love with these, but they did impress me a lot. They actually have a ton of stretch to them. like a lot of stretch and they are really compressive so they do feel nice and like hold you in a lot. I would say these are a solid medium to high compression and they definitely should hide cellulite and everything too because they not only have texture but they have a little bit of a pattern so I do think they'd be fine for that. I feel like you can kind of see some of the gusset crotch like on the front which I'm not always a fan of. It also feels actually it's decently stretchy in like a squat like this um probably because the stretch of the fabric I feel like the seams are definitely a little less stretchy. And I feel like they're very tight and true to size for the most part because they're stretchy, but I think there's a teeny bit of room in the waistband. Sometimes their waistband, like this one that's similar to the ombre in the Vital Seamless, tends to stretch out. So I wouldn't be surprised if this one stretched out as well. The fabric isn't as itchy as I thought, but it's definitely not like super, super soft. So if you're looking for like a really soft legging, definitely wouldn't go for these. The studio leggings weren't like super soft either, honestly, but they shouldn't pill or collect any lint. So that is a bonus of this fabric. Again, they are not a full length on me. They're more of a seven eighth. So I feel like Gymshark is just kind of catering to the short people today. They actually do have a slight seam on the booty area. So it's actually pretty flattering on the booty. And I feel like it's really like I don't know, hugging every area, like it's squeezing down here, kind of coming in in the middle. So I actually think that they're pretty nice on the booty and they just feel good with the compression. No camel going on and also not really a lot of crotch gathering, so that's good. I would give them a solid medium, potentially medium to high on the booty scale, maybe just a medium. You're not gonna have sweat showing in this color. Um, I forget what other colors it comes in, but darker colors, you're gonna be okay with sweat. And yeah, I would definitely go true to size while the waistband, it might stretch out. The rest of the legging is very snug on me, so I doubt that I could size down. So yeah, these kind of feel like the power down leggings, but definitely a lot more stretch. Like they definitely have a lot of stretch to them, so that's good. There's a few little notes I had about these, but I think that they're better than I originally expected. So love to see that. So that is it for this Honest Gymshark review. I didn't think any of the leggings were like totally taking my breath away, but they were better than I thought. 
This wouldn't be a video without a proper feature of Peach, so she just wanted to say hi. If you like my honest reviews, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about all these leggings, like which one's your favorite, least favorite. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!